Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to essentially create your own legendary gear. I'm talking about weapons, spacesuits, basically make your very own with the perks that you want. This involves using the console. To some of you, this could be all news. I thought I put this video together for those of you who are new, who haven't done it, and just to give you basically another option to obtain legendary gears if you want to go this route. Keep in mind that this is using the console, so achievements will get disabled. Be aware of that. If it's something that you care about, then maybe play the game normally. This, of course, works when you are on PC. But if you are on Xbox, even though technically you don't have access to the console command, you're still able to actually do this because you have crossplay. It means that you can use the Windows Xbox app, download the game, install Starfield on your computer. And if you don't have a very powerful machine, that is okay. You can turn all the settings, all the graphics settings to the lowest because all you need is a computer that will allow you to load into the game. Then all you have to do is bring up the console command, input the commands, save the game, make sure that sync is turned on. And once you go back to your Xbox console, everything that you obtain, all the gear will be there as well. So hope is not all lost if you play on Xbox. With that being said, I'm going to now guide you through a couple of examples how to do this. You will need one thing and it is this Excel sheet that has all the codes for all the items, mods, etc, etc on it. I did not create this Excel sheet. This is from a Reddit post by the user Tiffany Gaming. So I'm going to link the original post in the description. Go ahead, open it up. It's just a Google Excel sheet. I would suggest you save it into your computer in case the link at some point stops working. And now with that, we can get started. So I am going to show you how you can spawn specific legendary weapons and how to convert regular gear into legendary because not all gear can be spawned in a legendary form. There's only a specific list of weapons that you can spawn directly as legendary. And that is this table here. So these weapons here, you can spawn them directly as a legendary. And I'm gonna show you, let's do an example. Let's go with the Revenant, for example. And this is how you do it. So we will bring up the console command and it is this key on your keyboard. Once you bring it up, the command is player dot add item. And then a space and you enter the ID of that item. We're using the revenant as the example and you can just add that, hit enter and now you get the revenant rifle and then it goes directly to your inventory. And if you want to spawn the item on the map and not for it to go directly in your inventory, you can use the command player dot place at me space the item ID and hit enter. And now when you exit, now the weapon is spawned. I don't know why it's shaking, but there we go. It is now spawned in the system and you can just pick it up like any other. And I'll put all the commands in the description so that you can just easily copy and paste. Let's say that now we want to turn something that is just a basic standard gear into uh, advanced or superior and legendary. So how do we do that? And I'm going to use a Starborn suit in case you didn't go into New Game Plus and you don't have any of the Starborn suit. We're just going to do one of those. The first thing, uh, we're going to get the ID of one of the Starborn suits. OK, so we're going to get, let's say, let's get the space suit, the Starborn Astra. Let's get this one, the Bellum. I don't think I have it on, in my inventory, so I'm going to grab one that is not there. So we are going to do 
player dot place at me space the ID call. And I'll tell you why I am using player place at me instead of the add item. So we're going to go enter. We exit. We're going to make sure. Okay. So the starborn spacesuit got spawned. It is there. Now, how do I turn this into a legendary item? So what we're going to do is bring up the console. We need to find first the reference number of the spacesuit. And we do that by clicking on it with the mouse. And then you will see here at the center, it will show up armor for armor and the reference number. So this reference number is not the same as the item ID number. So be aware of that. And the only way you can get this number is if you drop the item on the map. So let's say that, for example, you use the player add item and the item went into your inventory. All you have to do is drop it. Like, for example, I have this. Let's just say that I want to change one of my other suits. As an example, I have this suit. I have to press R to drop it. So now that is drop. Let me exit here. So now the item is dropped. I can bring up the console and I can click on this one and I get the reference number because we're going to need that. So going back to the Starborn suit, we're going to click on it and get that reference number for that one. If you click on it and somehow it shows something else, for example, anything other than armor, all you have to do is use your mouse wheel to go up or down until you see the reference number for the armor. And what we're going to do now is we're going to enter the reference number first, 9628, and it's going to be a dot a mod short for add mod. And again, I'll have all these in the description space, and we're going to look for the armor mods. And just to make this example easier, what I'm going to do is just pick the first one out of each of these three groups. So the first one is going to be chameleon. We're going to paste it, hit enter. And at this point, I will suggest don't exit the console and try to check Add the other two and then exit and check. It's just easier so that you don't have to grab the reference number again. Sometimes the reference number could change. And right now, because we don't exit, it's going to be the same reference. So. What I'm doing now here is hit the up arrow key and doing that will bring up the previous sentence, the previous command that I type. If I keep going up, it will bring more the history of my previous command. So I'm going to bring up the reference of the previous one again, but we're going to delete the ID at the back and we're going to replace it with the ID of the second group of perks. And I'm going to just use the top one, which is auto medic and we're going to enter it paste it and we're going to hit enter. Then we're going to do one more time for the last perk, which is going to be uh, mechanized plus 40% carry capacity. We're going to enter that, paste it and hit enter. So now we can exit this thing. We can move around, go back. And now the suit is a Starborn legendary suit with all the three items that we added, which is the chameleon, the automatic and the mechanized. If by any chance you uh, change your mind, you do not want any of these three perks, you want to replace one. All you have to do is just add the new mod that you want and it will replace the one that is in that group. After that, you can pick it up, you know, is is yours. And you can go to your star space workbench. I'm not sure if you can add anything to a starborn um, suit or not, but let, let's check it while we're here anyway. And let me try to find it first. Starborn, is this the one? Yeah, this is the one, right? Oh yeah, you cannot add anything, unfortunately. This is this is all it is. But if you're doing this with a regular, um, we probably do another example with a, using a regular armor. And then we, we do another example using a weapon, if you guys like. So let, let's do that. So let me grab one of the other spacesuits that I have that is still just basic. I think, which one which one do you like? I think I like this one, the UC Urban War spacesuit. I really like the look of it. I made this one because I never got it to spawn this one, the white version. So I made this one kind of my, my main one. But anyway, let's let's bring this one 
what we're gonna do is drop it. We bring out the console, we're gonna click on it. And in this example, for example, I click on it, but it's showing me the reference number for something else. I don't know what that is. So all I do is use the mouse wheel to scroll around until I get armor. So now we got it. So we're gonna enter it. And by the way, so we can do an extra step here because this is a standard one. We're gonna make this one a superior UC Urban War spacesuit. So we're gonna type in the reference number and dot a mod. And then we're gonna go to the list and you can see that there is the armor tier modifiers. So we're gonna choose the ID for the superior one. So we're gonna add that one and hit enter. So we're gonna do a few more. Uh, there's also combat resist, plus five has a resist, plus two. You can add those as well to make it, you know, higher the numbers. I'll leave that up to you guys. And uh, we're gonna take now from the groups, I'm just gonna take the second one of each group just to make this easier for you guys to understand what's happening. We're gonna do the first one, the first group. We're gonna hit enter. And we're gonna delete that item ID. And we're gonna go to the second one, which is resource hauler. And we're gonna add that ID. Then we're gonna do again for the last one, which is gonna be repulsing. So we're gonna add the ID for that one and hit enter. And now we exit, we can come back and we can see that now it is a repulsing superior UC Urban War spacesuit. We have all the bolstering, the resource hauler, the repulsing, just like we did. If you increase the combat resist plus five and the hazard resist plus two, then that will also increase the physics damage and the energy damage that you take, which is, you know, 96, 100, 104, it will increase those numbers. And I believe that hazard will increase corrosive, airborne radiation, things like that. So you can add that as well. So what I'm going to do with this one, I can pick it up and I can go to the space workbench and I should be able to see it. Uh, I think it was part at the bottom, right? The superior repulsing, superior UC urban space. Okay, so we can add it. And now here you can add the four slots of moss that you want to make it even more powerful. Uh, but like the shielding, usually that's pretty good, right? You can keep adding those mods. You are able to also add these mods using the console as well. If you look into the Excel sheet, when you go to the items mod sheet, you will see all these split below here into backpack, helmet, and spacesuit. And it tells you the ID for the items that you can add. Uh, I find this a little more complicated, so I just, I have plenty of resources, so I don't need to keep using the console command. I feel like going to my workbench and just adding here is easier. So um, yeah, so this is kind of what I, what I do. I don't know about you guys, but my RNG lag is not particularly good. So I do really enjoy now being able to have basically any superior legendary base suit that I want. I no longer have to choose between stats and looks. I can actually have both. If you're using your packs or your helmet, it is exactly the same steps. Nothing changes. All the changes are the item IDs. So you're basically going to be looking for that particular helmet's ID. Finally, as an example, I'm going to do one with a weapon. Let's assume I don't have a Beowulf. I'm going to go in and look for a standard Beowulf, which is this ID. I'm going to use the player, oops, player dot add item and the Beowulf ID, enter. So now the Beowulf has been added and because we're going to modify it, I'm going to go in and drop it on the ground because at the end I used the place add me. So we're going to drop it and the weapon is there. Perfect. So bring up the command again. We're going to click on the weapon with the mouse to try to get the weapon, the short for weapon. And there's the reference number. We're going to enter the reference number 0 eec 77a mod and we're gonna first make this into an advanced beowulf i don't think you can make weapons superior i think advanced is the highest level for weapons correct me 
if I'm wrong there. But anyway, so that is the ID for advanced. We're going to enter it and we can exit just to check. Yeah, perfect. It is an advanced bear wolf. So let's continue. Let's click on the item again. I think I, I had the weapon item. Okay, there we go. The weapon ID 00FF0EEC77.amod. And we're going to add basically one out of each of these groups of weapon mounts. I'm going to also just for, for this example, I'm going to pick the last of each. So space up depth is the first one. I'm going to hit enter. We'll go back. We're going to add the second one, which is staggering. Hit enter. The same line, replace the ID with the final one, which is titanium bill. And we're going to copy paste it and enter. And that should be it. We exit, we go back. Perfect. So it is a titanium advanced Beowulf. So space up that staggering titanium build perfect so it was the last of each of those groups so i'm gonna now pick it up and i'm gonna go to the weapon bench and grab the advanced beowulf i think is this the one that i just uh i know that i have another beowulf um I, I hope i'm not getting confused with the other one so no it is this one the titanium advanced beowulf this is the one we just did so we're gonna click on it and you can now keep doing modifications here however you like right so yeah this is pretty much how you uh, how you do it so you know you can continue changing the weapon afterwards to add more uh, mods to it and make it basically however you like just as op as you could possibly get basically so you will be able to turn a weapon or gear that you like that doesn't have a legendary version into a legendary. Like for example, when it comes to weapons, I have here the new Nova Strike Sniper from the 700 pay mod. And this one was an advanced sniper, but it did not have a legendary version, at least, at least not yet. And I was able to actually turn it into a legendary by adding the perks in there. There's also this one, the advanced arc might plasma cutter this is also from the latest update this one does not have a legendary version but again i added three of those perks and that turned this into a legendary same thing with the max sniper i've been pretty unlucky i was never able to get it to drop a legendary even like a rare or epic i never been able to get one so i decided to also turn this one into a legendary by adding it myself. And you can do this with not just weapons, but also spacesuits. For example, let's say that you really like the Mark I spacesuit, then you can make this into a superior Mark I spacesuit legendary with the helmet and everything as well. I'm also being pretty unlucky in terms of getting the Tracker's Alliance spacesuit. Well, not a problem. I made it a legendary myself. So you can do a lot of things, even the Starborn suits. And when you spawn a spacesuit, it's going to be basic. You will not be able to spawn it in the legendary form. You have to add it. And I added, I made this one legendary. And I think I went way overboard on these things, on the elemental uh, the damage and things like that. I think I added too much. But again, just to show you that with this, you can just go nuts with it. Uh, I could have, I guess, added more than see how far this kind of goes. But anyway, you can still take your spacesuit or your weapon to the workbench and then add mods to it. You can also add mods using the commands. The codes are in the Excel sheet, but I don't want to make this too complicated. And honestly, I do feel like it's easier to add mods by going through the menu instead of inputting commands. So all I do mostly is just turn a weapon into a superior or advanced level and then add three perks to make it a legendary and that's pretty much it. And then I can take it to one of the war benches and I kind of do the mods there. I hope this was easy to understand. Like I tried to make this as, you know, as easy, as simple as I could. Uh, hopefully it came out that way. 
if there is anything that you guys didn't quite get, if you have any questions, you know, always leave a comment. I always read them and answer them as best as I can and try to help you guys out. So, so yeah, so let me know how you guys feel about this. It is just an option out there for those who kind of want to go this route. It is, this video is not me telling you to play the game in a different way, obviously. This is just an option, you know, for you guys to have, you know, if you already kind of finished the game multiple times, then there is this option to really fine tune your gear and be prepared for the upcoming DLC. Don't forget to comment, like the video, even if it's an emoji, it really helps and subscribe, you know, I never send out notifications when I upload. So you're never going to get an interruption from this channel. That's a promise. Other than that, thank you all for watching. Enjoy the game, have fun, and I'll see you all in the next video.